Hey everyone, Mark from the Gate Church here, and today we're all about cricket, or as some people mispronounce it, uh, crycut. Um, yeah, we're going to be talking about this particular guy here, the uh, Joy Extra. We're going to unbox it. Uh, we're going to do a lot on this show. I want to make sure that we get a very thorough review of this. So, more on this after this. Okay, before we get to the unboxing, and yes, I haven't unboxed this because this thing isn't this. As you can see, it wouldn't fit in the box. This is a Cricut Mini. Uh, we got this a while ago. I think my wife just kind of got it from a friend. Uh, I think there's even a place for like uh, the cord to plug in the wall, and I can't even find that cord. So um, yeah, uh, if I can get this to work, I mean, I'll probably like maybe have something at the end of it. But if I can't get it to work, maybe I'll just like uh, uh, forget about this. Maybe I'll even edit out that footage. Okay, so first of all, if you've never heard of cricket, I understand that. I had to go like, hey, what the heck is a cricket? Uh, here's what I've got as far as a description from the website. Okay, so according to the website, it says the Cricut Joy Extra cuts, writes, draws, and foils to make popular projects like full color stickers, custom cars, t-shirts, vinyl decals, and more. So uh, here's the thing, I've got a wife who's a very avid scrapbooker and uh, something like this is something that uh, she has been uh, talking about for quite a while and I finally got one sent to me and you better believe I'm going to definitely use this as much as I can. Uh, the thing is, I don't know how to use it. This thing uh, looks really complicated to me. I uh, didn't exactly put off uh, uh, doing my uh, video about this. But I wasn't able to fit it in last week because I knew that I was going to have to do a very extended review on it. And that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so I'm going completely blind into this, but I'm going to open the box and we're just going to see what's inside. Okay, first of all, we have what looks like to be instructions. I'm cool with that. Uh, and of course, uh, yeah. Okay, so here's the machine itself. It's not very big, is it? I mean, compared to that to the uh, Cricut Mini that I uh, just showed you, this is actually smaller. Uh, oh yeah, it's got some nice plastic around it. Uh, hmm. And of course, I have no idea how it works. Uh, has what I believe some kind of pen of some type. Who knows what that's for? Um, other things in the box. Uh, looks like we've got some kind of. Oh yeah. Okay. So we got the. Um, Basically, the power cord is what this is. Uh, and then I'm seeing uh, this odd contraption. I don't know what this could be, uh, but we'll definitely talk about that for sure. Uh, at least when we do the article. Uh, but I'm, I have a hunch I'm gonna come back to it. Now let's see. So if I took the plastic wrap off and I just unboxed this and plugged in the wall, I'm just gonna see what's gonna happen. Okay, so I took it out, took all the plastic off, uh, set up the cord. I'm just going to uh, affix the cord in here, see what happens. Feels like it's a dot matrix printer from the 80s or 90s, but hey, uh, maybe there's more I need to do. By the way, what the heck is this? Okay, I wouldn't say this is a pen, but uh, I'm not certain what this is. I thought maybe it might be uh, like one of those. Uh, okay, it says a uh, fine point pen. Uh, is it white? I don't know. I'm gonna find something to write on here. I don't wanna mess things up here. Okay, this is where it's time to read the instructions. It seem to be set up almost like a, I'm entering a spy movie here. So, oh, hey, what do you know? Uh, let's see, let's get started. And it gives me a link to a website at cricket.com backslash setup. Hmm. Hmm. Um, seems like there's uh, some stuff in here, like some nice paper and stuff like that. Shoot. Uh, we're going to have to do something here. Oh, there's also a user guide. Okay, I entered in the website that, like they asked me to at cricket. Uh, dot com setup and all right here we go okay so from the opening you can choose between a cutting machine and heat press i'm going to choose cutting machine because that's what i believe this is and then uh, it looks like you got to download a design space to continue the setup so the design space uh, i figured there would be some sort of software that i'd have to download uh, there doesn't seem to be a way to connect this 
uh, like through the USB cable to the laptop, which I thought was going to be one of the process. Uh, I'm going to see what the heck uh, I need to do here. Okay, it's taking a little while for that to download, and as is expected. But uh, while I'm here, I want to show you a company who sent me a lot of stuff here. And I just want to just sort of inventory it uh, for now. So this appears to be a transfer tape. I uh, don't really know what that is. Um, and then I've got uh, quite a few of these. Uh, it looks to be uh, printable sticker paper, a light grip mat. And, uh, oh, opaque gel pens, so, again, uh, and then we've got a starter tool set, and then we've got, of course, um, smart vinyl, uh, as opposed to dumb vinyl, and then we've got, uh, what's the last thing we've got here, is smart iron-on. Now, uh, this is a lot of stuff, this is like, uh, remember when I did the UAG review and I had to just sort of pile on a lot of stuff? Uh, this could be uh, that as far as uh, Cricut's concerned, and I don't want to be um, I don't want to be too general on this. Uh, however, I'm not certain if I'm going to like discuss like every single thing on this, because man, this could be uh, could take a while, and that's fine. I mean, shoot, uh, I knew this was going to be one of my longer reviews. Shoot, we'll see what we'll do. Okay, now it's downloaded. It's installing on my laptop, and it's. You know when you install software, it might take a little while for that to install. Hey, let it. Of course, I have to set up an account to this. Why wouldn't I? Uh, okay, I'm set up. So let's get started on the smart cutting machine. And then we're going to choose machine. I'm just going to set up. And I got the Joy Extra right here. Uh, oh, hello. Since I've got a clear, like, 10 inches of space behind uh, the Cricut Joy Extra. Hmm. All right, fine. Oh, shucks. This is where I gotta... Okay, it looks like I gotta pair this via Bluetooth to my laptop. I've had issues with uh, pairing my stuff uh, to my laptop. Maybe this will work out. Who knows? All right, this is taking a while for it to connect, just to let you know. Yeah, normally there's like an indicator to show that it's like Bluetooth pairing, but uh, there's like a flashing white light here. By flashing, I think really slow. Hey everybody, Mark from the Geek Church, and uh, I kind of ended up not being able to get the program to work on my laptop, or at least not be able to sync with the Cricut. So what I did is, you can see my smartphone to the left here, and I just ended up just um, downloading uh, the app into my phone, and then using it. Now, uh, there was sort of a, like a uh, trial thing, or at least something to kind of, uh, it's kind of like when you first get a printer, they always have a test page. I believe this is the closest thing I could find to a test page that they could do. This is the Cricut working, and that black uh, paper that you see in there, that's actually kind of sticker paper, for lack of a better term. In other words, like it's a big sheet of stickable uh, vinyl paper, and there's like Teflon underneath. And here's something that I want you to really see, but unfortunately you cannot see, because this happens at like probably a microscopic level. But that thing there that's like uh, drawing things like there, uh, it's going to make the Cricut logo, as you can kind of see there in the light if you look pretty closely. Um, but it cuts the vinyl paper, and what's strange is how it does it on such a low level that, uh, yeah, it's going to make the Cricut logo, that it doesn't cut through the Teflon below. Now, I found this hard to believe. Uh, oh, by the way, that's my wife. Uh, she joined me uh, along with this. Uh, she loves this cricket thing, and uh, you better believe that she's going to be using it. And um, so I had her, uh, fortunately, uh, Cricut provided us with that tool that you see there, which is there to just kind of peel it out there. And we had a bit of a difficulty because sometimes it cuts there, but uh, sometimes there is a few spots that it misses. But for the most part, you're going to see that it pretty much gives it as good as it gets because yeah that's cricket for you i mean i'm guessing that their process is uh patented for lack of a better term because uh i don't know how in the world they do this and this is the thing that really amazes me and is also uh somewhat confusing to me because i'm going like how can this uh machine that is so huge know where to cut in this thing and that 
just really just blows my mind here. And uh, yeah, so we had a bit of an issue getting it out and we're using the, this uh, scraper tool here. And um, so yeah, uh, just to let you know this, uh, when you do a little uh, printouts and getting that sticker there. Oh, it looks like she's uh, got the edge of that and uh, see how that's peeling up. So yeah, and there's the uh, Cricut logo there. And since this is a very precise cut, as you can see, like the individual letters are going to be seen here. Uh, as she does that. So you can see the CRI right there. And uh, yeah, so it's peeling up and peeling out. Now you can see it very clearly. See that? So uh, we got the sticker there. And uh, yeah, so those are the individual letters. We could stick those anywhere you want. We could even stick them out of order and uh, have some fun here. And I just, uh, we just put it there just to make it there. And uh, what the heck, I decided to straighten that out because why wouldn't I do that? I mean, come on. Yeah, look at how cute that looks. Okay, since we got the test out of the way, uh, my wife decided that uh, she wanted to do something a bit more complicated with it. Um, see that thing that says you got this? She wanted to make a card uh, that had that. So she wanted to basically make a, a stencil kind of cutout line on the vinyl paper, that the same vinyl paper we used in the Cricut. And uh, fortunately, the uh, app that you see here, that unfortunately I don't really see any detail here. Uh, and the app is a bit tricky to use. And I'll go into more detail here at the end of this uh, particular part of the video. But uh, yeah, uh, she wanted to use, uh, put the, she wanted to make a card that had this big, you got this on the front. And um, so that was kind of her design on that. We had a few issues with this here, and I believe I actually edited out parts where we really couldn't get it to uh, sync quite right. Um, one of the things that you have to know about uh, Cricut is you have to basically tell it uh, what type of paper it uses. And for the type of paper it uses, um, you see how you can insert it in there like that? Uh, that is an 8x11 sheet of paper. Uh, it's so, yeah, I kind of wish that this thing had the regular dimensions of uh, paper, but it didn't, it doesn't. Uh, this vinyl sheet, I mean, was uh, just kind of came with it. So, yeah, uh, I kind of wish it was like you could just stick any particular piece of paper in there. But, um, yeah, you have to cut it down. Uh, if you can see my wife below her phone, that's kind of a cricket cutting thing that uh, we just happen to have. Uh, that's not something they sent to us in that big box that I was going through earlier. And uh, But that's a good thing to kind of have around here so in case whatever size paper you can trim it down to the right size. And uh, yeah, I'm not sure why it wasn't sinking, but I, I'm gonna think that this is sort of a, the equivalent of say, oh, I don't know, you know how it is that when you have a printer, sometimes everything set up the Wi-Fi network, it's synced, but it just won't do it for some reason. And then all of a sudden it does. Uh, maybe it's something like that. Uh, oh yeah, uh, one thing they wanted us to do was uh, check on the blade and stuff. And uh, we did that. Blade is so small, I have no idea how this works, actually. Uh, whatever shortcomings this product has, which are few, kind of uh, really, I mean, the advancement of the Cricut really outweighs any shortcomings you're gonna have. So we did get it to sink in there, and then when the paper just kind of automatically rolls in, and I think the paper actually was a little bit off. I actually think you can even see that there. But uh, hopefully you can see that it is uh, now uh, printing off the uh, you've got this uh, uh, words on there. And yeah, you can make these any size just by a little uh, pinch and zoom on the app, or at least the mobile app. Unfortunately, yeah, I still was never able to get the uh, my laptop to sync with this thing. It is probably my laptop's problem, so I'm not going to hold that against the uh, Cricut company because I never do that. So yeah, so it's doing it. And as you can see, uh, it's very specific for that. So I could actually uh, put it on the same paper that I had the uh, the Cricut label on that we did earlier. And uh, as you can see, it's surrounding it now and it's cutting it out. And um, I decided to just sort of speed past the whole uh, pop out thing. That's the final product there. Okay, final thoughts on the Cricut Joy Extra. I have to admit that I am not really the audience for this. Um, I feel like this is targeted for uh, people that are very avid scrapbookers. Uh, they want to make stencils in their paper, they want to make special stickers. 
this product can do it, and it can do it in spades. Uh, for me, I found myself uh, almost overwhelmed by what I could do with this thing. Um, and I got, it got very complicated and I was thinking like, oh man, that, I kind of want to do a lot with this. If I really wanted to do so much with this, I mean, this would end up being like an hour long video and I wanted to keep this a bit short, but I will have to say, if you want to get this and you need this, then I highly recommend following whatever urge is within you to buy it. Uh, just make sure you can afford it. And, uh, oh yeah, that reminds me of the price. Okay, uh, most places that I'm looking for it, um, the price is about $199.99, so uh, I think that's a really good deal for what it does. And there is so much it can do that uh, I really wanted to go into more detail on it and maybe I'll do a follow-up thing on this because uh, they also make this thing where you can do like iron-ons and stuff like that. It's this big heater thing that um, I didn't even uh, talk about that. Most of my knowledge about this uh, product came from actually talking to people who were using it and they showed me all of these things it can do because on it because when I saw this thing I was really just flustered as far as like oh man I'm not sure how um, I really have to say that I didn't find this to be too user friendly but uh, considering I was able to do uh, the first thing and then we were able to do the second thing I suppose that with a little bit of practice we would become cricket champions. If you want to know more about Cricut, and I highly suggest you learn, um, like I have said, uh, there is a huge culture around Cricut. Just go on any place on YouTube about Cricut, how to do Cricut, do any search term you can even think when it comes to Cricut, and you will find it. You will find all kinds of things. And hey, I might use this for my business, you know, because I might make, want to make a little some geek church stickers I can just plaster every place when I go to <laughs> CES in Las Vegas. Who knows? The possibilities are limitless, but right now I've, I'm feeling very limited because I wanted to make, make sure I got this out before the holiday because the Cricut does make an excellent gift for anybody who is into this thing. Anyway, that's all I have for today, and this is Mark Rollins from the Geek Church, signing off.